Hi, I'm Mercedes Rose, and I'm here to talk just for a minute about YouTube. I have a production company that is a partnership between my teenage daughter, Paige, and a filmmaker friend of ours, Nick Hagen. Together we make up Coattail Productions. Our main channel is called The Haunting of Sunshine Girl Network. We started out in 2010 with a storyline YouTube channel. Very different. We didn't realize quite how different we were <laughs> until we realized that there's hardly any storyline, especially back in 2010, on YouTube. We've learned a lot over the years, and before we started, together the three of us had maybe watched five hours worth of YouTube. We really didn't know anything. We've learned a lot. One of the things that we've learned is that as YouTube has changed, there's a lot of people that don't understand how Storyline works on YouTube, including YouTube. <laughs> Even YouTube is a little bit confused about Storyline and how it can fit into their business model. You know, most YouTube channels are what we like to call one-offs. They're comedy channels or beauty channels, guys lighting their farts on fire, things like that. Nothing wrong with that. Obviously, millions of people watch it all the time, every day. But what we're trying to do on YouTube is very different. We're filmmakers trying to tell a story on YouTube while still using a little bit of the YouTube business model. Our episodes are short, very short, usually not more than three minutes. So that way, it fits into the YouTube business model a little bit more than, say, Orange is the New Black, which is a web series, true, but definitely not a YouTube series. It's a storyline, so it's hard for people to pick up in the middle. And they find the channel, and then they jump on, and all of a sudden they're in the middle of a story, and they don't know exactly how it started, or who this girl is, or why there's a ghost, or what's going on with her hair, or who is this woman that doesn't look like her mother, but is totally her mother. It's all very confusing. Imagine trying to watch an episode of, say, Breaking Bad, and you didn't know where you were, but you're in the middle of season four, something's happening, you're not really sure, and you don't know what to do next. Well, if you go to Netflix, it's pretty easy. If you go to YouTube, it's not always easy to figure out what's the first episode and what's the episode after that. So it's one of the challenges with doing a YouTube channel that is storyline-based. So as grows and as YouTube changes, one of the things that we hope happen as our production company is that YouTube will figure out a business model that works for storyline based. And that's where hopefully <laughs> this playlist of interviewing other YouTube content creators will come in handy because we're not the only ones. True, we've been doing it for a long time and we like to feel like we're one of the original storyline YouTube channels, but we're not the only ones. There's tons of people out there that are trying to do exactly that. They're trying to tell their stories on YouTube in a more traditional way. Some of their episodes are much longer and are a little bit more like a web series based. They're 10 minutes or maybe even a more traditional 24 or 46 minute long. I might be wrong on those numbers, but you know where I'm going with that. So they're trying to do web series on YouTube that are a lot longer and they don't always work either. So there's a lot of different types of content on YouTube. It's very much changing. There's new content going up every day that's very, very different. Hopefully, we can work together to find a way to make all of this different content accessible on YouTube and this, people can find it because I think that's the key. You can make the best content in the world and if no one can find it on YouTube, did you make it? The tree falls in the forest? It's a philosophical question that I will leave with you. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out the playlist where I interview other content creators. They're doing all kinds of amazing things. Some storyline, some comedy, some more traditional YouTube, but they all have a unique story to tell, and they're all telling it on YouTube. Thanks, guys.